Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Tech Click, and today we're gonna be looking at the HK Gaming rubber keycaps. These were sent out by HK for review, but it doesn't affect my video or my review in any way. Before I did this review, I went back to watch my previous videos and I didn't realize that I actually have reviewed three other keycap sets. So I feel like now I know a lot more about what I'm looking for, what I like, and what I think is good in a rubber keycap set. I think these are a really good addition to HK's lineup, especially considering that there's been talk about them switching their focus from purely mice and keyboards to just keyboards, which is a bit disappointing since I really liked what they did with the Sirius M that I'm using right here. And also, I think I was in the minority of reviewers that really liked the Mira S at launch. Anyways, let's get into it. Starting off with the unboxing, you're going to get a set of 23 keycaps, one through six, Q through R, A through F, Z through V, arrow keys, and an escape key. It also includes a wire keycap puller, which is good because the regular plastic ring pullers can damage your keycaps by scratching them. All of this comes in a dustproof cover, which is great because you can replace the rubber keycaps with the keycaps you were previously using, and it makes storing and replacing them a breeze. Moving on to the aesthetics and colorways, HK has 11 colorways available right now, which is impressive because when I first received these keycaps, they were only offering four colorways. And I wouldn't be surprised to see HK add more colorways to the lineup, especially considering that the main reason people usually get these is for that added flair and extra color that you add to your keyboard. Even with their mice, which is a lot less common, they usually offer a ton of different colorways, so this is something that I can see them doing in the future. Currently, HK offers Deep Purple, Monza, which is just red for those of you who aren't color enthusiasts, Malibu, Forest, Black and White, and you get the point. There's a ton of colorways. The main reason why I couldn't give the Ducky Rubber keycaps or even the Vulture keycaps a definite recommend over the current King Rubber keycaps, Taihao, was that both of their lineups lacked the diversity that that Taihao had at the time, and it made it a really hard recommend if you didn't have a keyboard colorway that matched their small lineup of colors. Even today, Ducky still only has seven colorways, and Vulture has actually removed colorways from Amazon, now having only purple and red. I'm not sure if this is because they've now taken a step back from the company or what. They were popular with nearly 800 reviews on Amazon, with an overall score of about four and a half stars. HK's colorways that they offer are great, especially at launch, and they have a good variety of colorways that can match almost any aesthetic, especially since they they offer black and white options. Colors look sharp and vibrant, and the legends are just as clear as the Taihao or Ducky keycaps. There is some striking in the legends, but that's just a part of the manufacturing process, and literally every rubber keycap set that I've ever used has the same striking, with there being some sort of issues in letters that have round areas. The font is simple, not gamery or overdone, and I like that they kept it clean and simple in that way. Also, any RGB backlighting that is going to shine through is going to be on mostly the top half of the keycap, and you should know that the F key does not have that small bump that it usually does on most regular non-rubber keycap sets. But again, those things are the same on all rubber keycaps. Before we get into the second half of this video, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because only about 3% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. By being subscribed, it'll make sure that you don't miss out on any new reviews and I would really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Thanks for watching, and now back to the video. Looking at the texture, this is where the HK keycaps really shine in my opinion. Most rubber keycap sets use the same diamond texture on the front of the keycap, but usually have a much different feeling from one keycap set to another. Like for example, the Ducky rubber keycaps by far use the roughest and most abrasive texture, not to the point that they're uncomfortable, but that's just not really what I like. The tie house, on the other hand, are a lot smoother, less rough, and are more comfortable in my opinion for long gaming sessions. One thing I want to mention is that a great use of these rubber keycaps is knowing when your fingers are on the WASD keys without having to look down at the keyboard, and regardless of which rubber keycap set you decide to pick up, you will definitely be able to tell the difference in texture between a regular ABS or PBT keycap and something like a HK rubber keycap. Why do I bring this up? Well, it's because the HK keycaps are by far my favorite when it comes to texture and from a functionality standpoint, which in my opinion is the most important thing. These are smoother than the tie house, duckies, or vultures, and I feel like since you'll already recognize that the texture is different regardless of the brand you decide to go with, the next most important thing is, do you like how it feels? And with these, it's an easy yes. And if you're looking for that grippy feeling, I would say that the HK keycaps are on par with the tie house, if not, maybe just a little bit less grip. I've calculated the keycap to cost ratio, and as far as everyone else is concerned, HK has the best value for your dollar in terms of how many keycaps you get per dollar spent. And while prices are subject to change, here's what I found as of the time that this video goes live. The Vulture keycaps come in dead last, costing about $1.50 per keycap, the tie house and third costing about $1.27 per keycap, 
the duckies in second at about a dollar and nine cents per keycap and hk barely getting first at just a dollar and eight cents per keycap for those of you curious i just divided the cost of the keycap sets by the amount of keycaps you get in each set and while they don't all have these same size sets this gives us a pretty rough estimate of what you're getting for your money and just to make things a bit sweeter for vulture and hk you do get the convenience of amazon customer service and support since their products are sold through amazon so do i recommend the hk gaming rubber keycaps and are they worth the money well as you might have guessed the short answer is yes and i really think that hk is well on their way to taking over this rubber keycap game especially considering that they have the best value in terms of what you're spending and just the overall feeling and texture of the keycaps at this point they're winning in price and texture and really all they need to do is just get out more colorways to compete and catch up with Taihao and besides that just to get more people to use it and talk about it overall. If you're wondering what to get between the existing rubber keycap sets available, here's what I think. If you already have a Ducky 1 2 Mini or Mecha Mini and want to match brands or you really like the rubber space bar that only Ducky offers right now, then go get the Ducky rubber keycaps. If there's an existing colorway that only Taihao offers right now and you can get it anywhere else, then go get the tile rubber keycap sets they do offer the most colorways by far right now otherwise get the hk rubber keycaps they've basically made the vultures a non-factor by beating them in both price performance size of the set colorways and just literally every single department and there's really no reason to get it especially since they're both sold on amazon so just do yourself a favor and pick a set of those up hopefully matrix comes to play and i can get my hands on their upcoming rubber keycaps and see if they are better or worse and just because i'd like to see more keyboard companies get into this space because at the end of the day more competition is good for everyone so that's gonna wrap up my review of the hk gaming rubber keycaps i hope this video helped you in your purchasing decision or that you at least enjoyed the video if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button since it really does help out the channel and if you're new here i make all types of content on gaming tech so if you're interested in this type of content consider checking out the channel and subscribing and if you want even more content from me i have a tiktok where i post tons of tech related content like more keyboards monitors mice and just a whole lot more like always you guys are awesome thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one